The Mystics and the Mystery, Dear Reader, Er, luminous home of many a Celtic heart, is a land of stone. And stone recalls its prehistoric past in megaliths and passage tombs. Mighty structures that some say are older at a date of 3000 BC than the pyramids at 2500 BC. But what if the pyramids are 10 times that old? Who built them and who began erecting Ireland's Neolithic structures almost as soon as the last ice caps receded from Northern Europe? Did refugees travel to desert climes following the sinking of Atlantis 12,000 years ago, bringing with them pyramid building technology? And did they more than once return from Egypt to the cool green island their ancestors had passed on their way east, each time to escape persecution and leave their mysterious legacy in stone? These are fascinating questions that our seer Debbie is drawn to explore for she knows she was one who fled the destruction of Egypt's 18th dynasty in the company of her twin flame, her soul's other half, known in this life as Jeremy. In those long forgotten days, he promised her safety, but could not guarantee his own. She lost him then. Will she find him again? Is she even allowed to search for him? Or must she wait for events to come full circle as the Irish have always known they do and which they made certain that future generations would perceive when they placed a Celtic circle of wholeness around the symbol that connects spirit and matter. In this conclusion of the Twin Flames of Era trilogy, Debbie and her beloved Jeremy are assisted by the ancients in the person of Master St. Germain, K.H., and others of the Great White Brotherhood, their elder brothers and sisters of the One Light, whose story this also is. Come, let your imagination open to the numinous realm of Era's past, where mystics have always ventured to solve the mystery of being. Is Mish Lemes, sincerely yours, Cheryl Lafferty Eckle.